Close to a farm, there was a little pond where a mother duck was watching over the eggs she had laid. They cracked open, one egg at a time. She pampered all her newborn ducklings as they fussed around her. However, there was one large egg that was to be hatched. She had to wait for a long time before it finally cracked open. What emerged out of the egg was unlike her other duck babies. This one looked different. It was bigger and had dark gray feathers. My big baby! You look so different but adorable. She allowed him to mingle with the others, but they exclaimed, You are so very different from us. Look at our soothing yellow feathers. You have dull, gray feathers. You are so ugly. And together, they moved away from him. The mother realized his pain and told him not to worry, and it was typical of siblings. But the gray duck was hurt. The next day the mother took her little ducklings to introduce them to the other farm animals. The horse, pig, chickens, and the cows welcomed her and her little ones, but as soon as they saw the gray-colored duck, they exclaimed, Oh gosh! How can you be so different and ugly? This behavior continued for many days and affected the gray duckling a lot. One night, when his mother and siblings were fast asleep, he crept out of the farm to avoid the insults. He wandered around the countryside and came across other ducks and animals but whoever set eyes on him insulted him and his looks. He came across a farm where the farmer and his wife kept him for a while, but the other animals were rude and made fun of him. The gray duck was disappointed and sad. He thought, I guess it is time for me to move from here. One morning, before the sun came up, he quietly slipped outside and moved in search of a place where he would be accepted. Tired and hungry, he finally came upon a spot where he heard very happy chatter. The fear of being ridiculed made him hide in the nearby bushes. From there, he was able to see the most beautiful white-colored birds. They were simply stunning. Their long slender necks, delicate beaks and soft sounds made the ugly duckling want to go out and meet them. But he feared they would fly away. He admired them until they all flapped their wings and majestically rose into the air and disappeared. Every day and night, he would move softly, searching for food and shelter, hoping no one would drive him away. But he did not come across a single friendly individual. He often thought about the beautiful white birds he had spotted once and wondered if he would see them again. One fine day, as he was moving softly along a long stretch of a small stream, he was struck by what he saw. He found a few of those beautiful white birds perched on a few pebbles on the stream and staring at him. Oh! They will hurt me. He bent his head low and was surprised at the reflection staring at him. He was white. He looked beautiful. He couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly, he found himself surrounded by the beautiful swans. They told him, you are so beautiful and strong. Why are you all alone? Come with us. He felt a renewed energy and realized his wings had grown strong. He smiled and moved happily with them. A little ahead was a garden with some of the village folk. They were feeding birds with cakes and other goodies. Oh look! There's a new member in that family of pretty swans. The now pretty swan was so happy to hear the words, a new member in the family. After having their fill, the swans took him with them, and they rose together, making everyone admire their grace and beauty.